taking a look at uh, the financial sector cleanup and how that has had an effect on a lot of people, especially for those people who have lost their jobs and also for people who have had their funds locked up as well. As it stands now, um, about last year, August 20, well, it was 2017, uh, pardon me, when all this started. And unfortunately, about nine to 10 banks, um, you know, were declared insolvent, some were consolidated, and there were lots of people who lost their jobs. About 6,000 job losses um, were recorded. And then fast forward till now, just last Friday as well, about 53, um, you know, fund management companies were also, uh, they also had their licenses revoked as well. And even before that, we've seen a number of demonstrations from people who've had their monies locked up. Uh, personally, I know someone who's won 50,000 Ghana CDs, unfortunately has been locked up, and he's been uh, told that he can only get a capped amount of 20,000 Ghana CDs whilst they try to figure out what to do with the rest of his money. Some people don't even believe their monies are ever going to come back. But really, what are the psychological effects of some of these issues as well? We'll try and see if we can speak to a few victims as well. I do have a psychologist here uh, who is also, um, you know, deep-rooted in this particular topic as well. And so he'll tell us uh, what the situation is like on the ground. But we asked on social media, Facebook and Instagram, uh, what people think about the cleanup, whether they were affected as well. And Sabonzi... Um, he says, not affected directly, but it only discourages me from saving with the banks or investing with the financial institutions. I'm not sure, but I believe it's a good sign for the investors. And this is something that a lot of people have also been saying as well concerning their interest or belief in the financial sector currently in the country. Now, Semanjo 1430 says that that's why it's important for every person to look out for the network marketing industry, probably uh, Max International. Oh, I see. Because there has been no job security in the banking sector for God knows how long, but people will not listen. Now, banks are collapsing and even new robotics are replacing factory workers. Drones for new delivery systems, mobile money, ATM interoperability will definitely wipe out a chunk of workers in the banking sector. People must look out for entrepreneurial skills to start their own businesses. My wish for anyone reading this is to not be a victim before you realize that job security is the biggest scam in the 21st century. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't think, um, you know, I, I agree with you on this one. But anyways, it's all up to you but of course you should still believe in the system because there are few genuine places that you can invest and that's why they say do your homework at least before you put your money in a particular uh, investment company so jay lyric says that the government's dear hmm they should just prepare themselves 2020 is just at the, around the corner okay and uh, mary abrafi says please my money has been locked up at gold street investments but my question is will they pay us back because since last year um when they said they would pay nothing really has happened. Let's go on Facebook and find out what people are saying there as well. Delight Ankun um, says, yes, I just invested to support my wife's education in the university this year, but my investment has been locked up. Now I don't know what to do. Uh, I, now I have to pass away with some of my salary to make it possible for her next year. God is in control. Hmm. Must be difficult. Tim Jamba Isaac says, my dear, I'm really affected by this, uh, you know, the cleanup. My investment, about 4,000 Ghana cities, is locked up in GN savings and loans. I can't even pay my fees as a student teacher. That's heartbreaking. Um, okay, so... Let's, let's move on to a few other things. And Thomas says, I need money to sustain my family. My dad is an example as well.